Would you believe me if I said this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you? Yeah, you're right. You shouldn't believe me. That's just not true. Today I'm going to give you a brutal off ice stamina workout and by brutal I mean brutally hard but it's going to pay huge dividends when your team takes that five minute major in the last seven minutes of a one nothing game you're just trying to hold on to the shutout give your team the win it is definitely going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me but let's get into it if you stick around to the end if you're still with me by the end I'm going to give you a brutal on ice <laughs> stamina workout uh, as a bonus I guess wow Wow, I'm feeling generous today. Let's get to work. For today's super special treat, we're gonna use uh, a Schwinn Airdyne bike, or what as I like to call it, the Air Death bike. This is a home version, so it's a lot lighter than uh, like sort of the commercial grade ones that I had at Revolution, but it's actually just dynamite. Now, so those of you who've been watching and around for a long time are gonna say, but Maria, I, I didn't think you liked the bike. I thought the bike was bad. The bike, isn't bad. Uh, it's just that some goalies use it in the wrong way. So they really use it for their stamina training and it does reinforce some things and we don't really want to be reinforcing. Tightness in the hip flexors, uh, sometimes flex lumbar spine. We're not getting any hip extension, that kind of thing. In season, I think it's not bad because it's just a very gentle way. Well, <laughs> gentle <laughs> on the joints, gentle way to train. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with just a gentle like three to five minute warm up, or you could do a dynamic warm up. You could do this workout using something other than the bike. So any other piece of cardio equipment, if you're doing it at the gym, you could do it uh, doing agility ladder drills or something like that uh, instead. But I like the bike specifically uh, for this workout because you can just hammer. There's no technique to it. You can just get on and hammer. And that's what you have to do to make this workout successful. I didn't design this workout for you just to be hard. I didn't sit down and think, oh, what's going to be super hard for these guys? I sat down to think, how can I build the local muscular stamina that a goalie needs? How can I teach this goalie to still be explosive even when they're under high, high levels of fatigue? And how can I sort of help them build that mental toughness, which breeds confidence that, yes, I can do it. I've been here before. I've thought that I was, you know, completely exhausted, that my legs were cooked, but I was still able to be explosive. I know that I can persevere and push through. And I know that this pain I'm feeling right now isn't forever. Once we finally do clear the puck, I'm going to recover really quickly. So that's what this is about. So it starts with a stamina interval. And the interval is going to be this. It's going to be 30 seconds hard, followed by 10 seconds, very, very easy. Some of you are going to ask, well, how hard should I go on the 30 seconds? You should pace yourself that, so that you're still able to go hard at the end of the 30 seconds, but that that last six seconds feels like about 20, <laughs> you know, so you're like, oh my God, how much longer? But I also don't want you to just come out full sprint and then for the last 10 seconds, just be like, okay, I've got, like, I've got nothing. I can't keep going. 30 second full out sprint, 10 seconds, easy, easy, easy. You're going to repeat that four times. And then you're going to do this. So you that generic bike drill or stairmaster or jump rope or whatever it is you use that to build some fatigue in your legs as i just mentioned bike versus the jump rope jump rope uses your calves a lot that's what usually gets tired the bike you're gonna feel your quads you're gonna feel your glutes that's more what i want those should be burning then you're gonna get right off the bike no rest for the wicked and you're going to come and you're going to do knee down lateral hops for 30 seconds and you're going to stay nice and low. So again, don't come out like at a full sprint because you'll burn out. You won't make it to the end. You don't want to go super slow either. Try to find that sweet spot where you're going to be blasted by the the, that last six seconds will be brutal, but you can still make it through. It just looks like this. You're going to 
Recover this foot, push across, and then come back down, knee down. Don't smash your knee down. I don't have to drop this down and recover it again. I'm just gonna do boom, boom, boom. Still, I think, well, where would my glove be? my blocker be? Am I leading with my head in my hands? Still reinforce those good habits. You're doing that for 30 seconds. Then you're back on the bike. This time you're going to do 30 seconds hard, 30 seconds very, very easy. You're going to repeat that <laughs> four times. One, two, three, four. Four times. And if you're not making a crazy face when you're doing the interval, you're not going hard enough. With that longer duration recovery on the bike, so the first time our recovery was only 10 seconds, in this set it's 30 seconds, that means you're gonna be able to go a little harder during your 30 second work interval. As Soon as you finish four of those, you're gonna hop off the bike and this is what we're gonna do next. Definitely one of my favorite drills for building leg stamina and still trying to teach you to be explosive. So it's a squat, a jump, and hold. You're gonna do five repetitions of this drill. It is going to be nasty. You're gonna do three jumps followed by a 10 second hold. So you'll start off and keeping your good mechanics, getting a nice jump, one, two, three and then you're down and you're going to hold in this position so you're not you know you're not going to hold here with your legs almost straight you're going to sit right down and you're going to hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then right into it one two three and then back into your hold for 10 seconds like i said that is going brutal so if you're just start this is a this is a very advanced stamina workout so if you're just starting out cut that static hold down to five seconds maybe even cut the overall reps to three so instead of doing five reps of three jumps plus a 10 second hold start at three reps three jumps five seconds static hold and now you can hardly stand up you are welcome. Don't worry, you don't have to stand up because you're gonna go and you're gonna hop back on the bike. You're going to do 30 seconds hard, 10 seconds easy, six times. Yes, six. No, she's not crazy. Six. <laughs> and then I'll meet you back over here. And this is almost the last thing. Because a lot of times what's hardest on the ice isn't so much when you're moving, it's when you have to hold some of those sustained postures. So this is just going to be a post hold. So we'll imagine that I'm in my net, I'm right on my right post, you know, I've got my elbow wrapped around it or whatever your position is, but you're low in that leg and you're looking to see what's going on behind the net. You've got your stick, you've got your glove, and you're gonna hold that position for 30 seconds, then boom, right over to the other side for 30 seconds to finish with those static holds. Congratulations, you made it. Now you're gonna rest for two minutes and do it again. What? Yeah, really. You felt the difference between doing cardio and doing goalie stamina, probably after the first set of those squat, jump, and holds. The goalies I work with in Turning Pro or the Shutout Academy, what they tell me is they're so surprised because it's actually almost the only time their legs actually feel the way they feel on the ice. You know, it's like a desperate feeling, right? When you know you have to perform, your team's pinned in your own end, but your legs are just they're tying up, they're so fatigued, and you really worry that even though I know maybe where I need to be, I'm not gonna be able to beat that pass and I'm not gonna make the save. This is a way you can improve that dramatically through your off-ice training. And as promised, here is that nasty little piece of an on-ice stamina workout that you should do uh, at the end of your goalie session, at the end of practice, never before, because you're gonna be like crawling to the dressing room. Are you scared right now? Because you should be. 
So this is not a technique skate at all, although you're trying to keep your good technique, obviously all the time, you always wanna be reinforcing proper habits. But this is a conditioning workout and a little bit of a survival workout, AKA mental toughness training. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set uh, a timer for a Tabata timer, which is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight. It's only four minutes long. How bad could it be, right? Yeah, really bad. <laughs> so, and here's the pattern we're gonna do. Now you can make up your own patterns based on what you need to work on. These are skills that I need to really improve. So this is gonna be my Tabata. So I'm going to do two T pushes. Then I'm gonna come into a butterfly, two shuffles, and a dead stomp. Then I'm gonna do a backside reverse, and then back, and then I'll do the same thing the other way. keep doing that for 20 seconds. Then when I get 10 seconds comes, I'll just rest and try not to lose my lunch. And then as soon as the 20 seconds hits, boom, I go again and I'm going hard. I do that eight times for four minutes, boom, that's it. I told you it was nasty and it doesn't even look as nasty as it is. So you really have to try it on the ice to get the full effect. Uh, if you like these circuits or want other kind of quick circuits or training that you can do at home, uh, I think a great place to start is uh, on my YouTube channel, Goalie Training Pro TV, where you're watching this video probably. There is a playlist called 10 Secret Habits of Pro Goalies, and there are workouts in there. So there are mobility workouts, strength workouts, speed, stamina workouts. They're all designed to be done at home really really quickly I'll put a link in the description for sure but that's something you should check out next step actually do the workouts because nothing happens until you take action you can watch this video all day long and your legs aren't gonna get any stronger or you're not gonna develop any more stamina you are not gonna be a better goalie I'm sorry once you've done the workout drop a comment below let me know what you think. If you want to use swear words, don't use swear words. But if you want to think swear words as you're typing your comments, that's okay too. I can take it. I've heard it before. You know what I'm also going to do? Because I do kind of feel a little bit bad. These workouts are very nasty, but it will help. Uh, but I'm going to drop a link to the butterfly challenge in the description. So if your butterfly flare needs a little work, if you'd like it to be a bit wider, uh, I'll drop that link in and you can go get that. And that is also for free. So it's all about free today. I will catch you the next time. This is Maria from GoalieTradingPro.com.